how long do homemade Nutter seed milks keep in the refrigerator? Not long at all. That's the problem. Because I love fresh made hemp almond milk. So simple to make. You take a cup of mixed of hemp seed and almonds mixed, whatever kind of ratio you like. Mostly almonds, mostly hemp seeds. Two thirds hemp and one third almond. Well, two thirds almond and one third hemp. I don't care. Just fill up the cup. Put it in the Vitamix with six cups of water and one or two dates and a little teaspoon of vanilla bean powder. Mix it up and it's delicious. It's fantastic. And actually healthier than what you could buy out of a box. Creamy, smooth. You don't have to thin it. You don't have to put it through a cheesecloth. It's just good the way it is. The the problem is it doesn't keep. It's not pasteurized. Um, you can only have it that day you make it and the next morning. And after that, it's bad. By the evening of the second day, it's already rotten already. It doesn't keep at all. One and a half days. Yeah, you could freeze it, I guess, but then it takes a long time to defrost. That's the problem with it. So they make it fresh, it's great. That's really when you're eating hemp seed and um, soy milk, all that stuff's pasteurized. You know, it's, it's overcooked. It's not as healthy as making your own, but what can you say? You don't use that much of it anyway, right? You're probably using half a cup a day of it or anyway. It's not that much of it. But if you want to drink more of it, then you're probably better off making your own, making it fresh.